Hello everyone, Scrumpy Gamer, and this today is going to be a tutorial on how to get started with Take It and Technic. I'm going to make a couple of assumptions. The first assumption I'm going to assume is you know how to play regular Minecraft, so I'm not going to show you how to survive that first day or anything like that. Um, second assumption I'm going to assume is you don't, you've never played Take It or Technic. So the first question you might be asking is what is Take It and Technic and how do I download it and that kind of thing. Well, let me explain what it is first. So a group of guys got together and they found all the best mods on the internet for Minecraft and they put them all in one bundle and they, they created a launcher and you'll want to download the launcher I'll put a link in the description but uh, when you run the launcher it will download all the mods there's 40 or 50 of them and when you when you play with the launcher um, you'll be playing with the 40 or 50 mods and so what's the difference between Tech it and Technic? Technic is single player only Tech it is multiplayer and so if you're going to play by yourself and you don't plan on playing with anybody else, I would recommend playing Technic because um, it has more mods in there, more recipes. But if you plan on never playing with anybody else, you want to play Tech It. They're basically pretty much the same. Just, Technic's got a few more mods. So in this video, I'm actually in a Tech It world. Um, I'm just going to show you the basics. They share the, the basics that they share in common. So this video is good to get started with, it, with either Technic or Tech It. So first thing I want to show you is the recipe book because this is the, one of the coolest things. Basically what it allows me to do is like a search engine down here I can type in a recipe and it, uh, I can type in a, a something and it will tell me the recipe for it. So let's do iron furnace because that's actually one of the first things you'll want to build when you're playing Tech It. So there's iron furnace so if I want to know how to um, craft it make sure I'm in recipe mode. By the way, I, I have to switch back and forth. Cheat mode, I got to go to cheat mode to reset the time and turn off rain and stuff. And also to give myself stuff to do the tutorial. I'm just in a test world. I'm not actually playing the game. But anyway, just look at recipes. You want to be in recipe mode. And so we clicked Iron Furnace. Shows us recipe. Now some stuff has more than one recipe. Like for example, the furnace here. We can put iron in a circle and that will give us an iron furnace. Or we can do this. We can use regular furnace and put the iron around it like that and that will give us an iron furnace also. So I actually have an iron furnace set up right here. It basically works just like a regular furnace. There's no difference except the iron furnace cooks stuff quicker. So I could put in a, a piece of whatever in there and it'll cook it. It'll just cook it a lot faster. So once you have your iron furnace it's pretty straightforward. Um, that would be the first machine you build. But anyway, now let's say you're playing playing Tekken or Technic, you're getting started. The first thing you're going to do in that first day or two is you're going to play just like vanilla Minecraft. So you're going to try to get some wood, make your basic tools, maybe get some food, build you a shelter, that kind of thing. And you're going to get to the point where you're ready to go caving. And that's where this is going to kick in. So basically, the way this works is... Take it and technique. When you're caving, you're going to find a lot more resources than you used to. Like there's all kinds of ore. There's uranium ore, tin, iron, nickelite, copper, um, all kinds of things. You also got gems, ruby, emeralds, and sapphires. Now I'm going to show you the basics of how all this works. Um, first things first, this is what you're going to want to get before you even start messing with building all the machinery inside the game. You're going to want to get some iron. I'm sorry, copper, iron, tin, and some redstone. So you're going to have to go pretty deep to get redstone. But while you're going that deep to get redstone, you're, you're probably going to run into some gems. you got rubies, emeralds, sapphires. Basically what you use those for is for crafting tools and swords. So if I do that right there, there we go. That makes um, a sapphire pickaxe. And so you can make all your basic tools out of gems instead. There's a couple reasons you want to do that. First of all, Iron is very valuable at the start of the game because you need it for everything. So by using gems, you're saving your iron. But secondly, these tools are better than iron. Um, not quite as good as diamonds, but better than iron. So they last longer and they're a lot faster than iron. Um, basically, the only difference is between these and diamonds, they're a little bit slower, um, don't quite last as long, and they won't bust obsidian. But starting off, you're going to build out uh, early on as quick as you can. You're going to make all your tools out of gems and so 
once you go caving and you get these basic resources right here probably want to get some coal too it's not required but it does make the game easier just like vanilla you know you can use charcoal instead of coal but uh, coal comes in handy and so the first thing I like to build is the iron furnace that's this right here um, because for a couple reasons one it works you're gonna be cooking at, starting off if you don't have an iron furnace you're gonna be cooking in a regular furnace well the iron furnace is faster and so there's no reason not to build it but secondly it won't be wasted the resources because iron furnaces are used for making like other things like generators and electric furnaces so anyway make your iron furnace first make sure you got you a decent amount of resources first thing you want to build after that is the generator this is a recipe for it right here you need an iron furnace which you know how to make anything you don't know how to make look it up in the recipe book you need refined iron and you need a rebat or rebattery. Rebattery is the hard one. The refined iron is not too hard. You just take regular iron like uh, right here and just cook it a second time and it'll end up giving you um, the refined iron. So let me go ahead and type in this rebat recipe because this is the complicated one. Um, here we go, rebat. But here's the recipe for it. You need 10. 10 is not too hard to come by. You just need 10 ore and cook it and you'll end up with 10. And you need redstone and then you need copper cable. Now, copper cable, here's the recipe. You'll need copper and you'll need rubber. Copper is not too hard. Cook copper ore, you'll end up with copper. And there's the rubber. The rubber is the one I'm going to show you what I need to do. First thing, I'll show you what a rubber tree looks like. These are rubber trees. Now, if you notice the distinguishing features on them, first of all, they got really dark wood. But secondly, they always got this pointy thing at the top. So that that's letting you know that it's rubber trees. So there's actually two kinds of rubber trees. These are the right here. They'll appear all over the place, all kinds of biomes, except probably desert and ocean, that kind of thing. But um, you'll find them in forests, plains, jungles, that kind of thing. The second tree, I'm not going to show it to you. It's massive. It's only found in the jungle. And when I say they're massive, I mean you can get a couple thousand pieces of wood out of one. The trunk on those things will be like five by five or six by six or something ridiculous like that. They're super tall. And here's how you know you found a rubber tree. If you've played vanilla Minecraft, you know what a jungle looks like. It'll be the only tree you've never seen before, but they are massive. They are by far the biggest trees in the game, so you won't be able to miss it. Um, they're so huge you could almost build a house out of the trunk. <laughs> but anyway, here's what we need rubber trees for. Um, we need them to get resin. There's, you can see a piece of resin up there. Um, to get resin, you'll need a tree tap. You can look that up in the recipe book. But once you get the tree tap, right click a piece of resin, and there we go. We just got a piece of uh, sticky resin. Now, by the way, when you first find these rubber trees, they might be hard to find at first. But once you find one, um, chop it down if it's not near your house collect all the saplings what you want to do is you, you want to start a rubber tree farm close to your house you need a lot of rubber so you, it's actually one of those deals you can never have too much and so once we get resin you want to cook it in the furnace so there we go let's cook some in the furnace and it's going to cook into a single piece of uh, rubber we'll see that here in a second well there we go now to make copper wire we're gonna need uh, six pieces of rubber so you'd have to get six pieces of resin I'm not gonna bother that it might take you some time because you'll have to wait um, basically the, the the way this works is if you knock down the leaves around a tree sometimes you'll find a, a more resin up near the top now these leaves will not regrow on the trees but the resin will so on your tree farm what you do is you go out there every 30 minutes or an hour or so and harvest all your resin. Uh, you don't got to worry about the leaves. Just chop them all down if you want. It doesn't need the leaves to grow the rubber or to grow the resin. It's going to turn me into a liar. There we go. There you see the. sometimes the resin's hidden beneath the leaves. So anyway, once we get six pieces of rubber and three pieces of copper, we can make copper cable. And I already got some copper cable here to show you. So there's copper cable. Now what do we need copper cable for? We're going to make a 
battery. So let's get the stuff we need to make the battery. We'll need two pieces of redstone, four pieces of tin, and one piece of cable, copper cable. So there we go. We got all the stuff we need to make it. So there we go. There's a, a re-battery. And so next we're going to make our generator. Now I forgot the recipe. Let me go back over here. We'll need an iron furnace, which I happen to have one of those right here. We will need three pieces of refined iron. There we'll happen to have that right there. And we need a rebat. Oh, I got disoriented there. There we go. So we put our iron furnace down here. Put our refined iron there, and we'll put our rebat here, and that's going to let us make a generator. So, generator is going to be the first or the second thing you build after you build the iron furnace. And the reason you build the generator next is because all the machines take electricity, and you'll have to have uh, something that makes electricity. That's what the generator does. Now, I have a generator right here, and basically, it's sort of like a furnace. Whatever you put in a furnace, you can put in a generator. So, you can put wood in there and, and whatever planks whatever you want and you can see right here is the storage of the um, generator and basically you cook stuff in there to make electricity so that makes electricity now here's the basic machines macerator electric furnace and extractor I'm not going to go over how to w I'll show you how to make one basic machine I'll show you how to make a generator so I won't go all over all these I'll show you how to use them real quick but that's about it um, just look it up in the recipe book if you want to know how to make it but anyway once we get the generator, they need electricity to run, so I take that copper cable I made, like this right here, and you want to connect all your machines. People usually do it from behind. But by the way, here's a tip. The generator I actually puts out electricity to all of its sides, so if you want to conserve some cable, you can actually put the machines next to the generator. Like here I have a macerator next to a generator, but me personally, I never do it that way. I always like to spread them out. Um, so anyway, let me go over what this macerator does. Now, when we first of all, when we got all these resources, I, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but when you went cave in, you got your copper, iron, and tin. You don't want to cook any more than you have to because this macerator here is going to double the amount of resources. It's basically, it's going to multiply whatever you get by two. So, in other words, if I take a piece of copper ore and cook it, I'll get one copper ingot. If I put it in the macerator first, here's what's going to happen. Well, it's going to take a while, but basically it'll cook into two pieces of dust. This thing's pretty slow at first. You can actually uh, put stuff in your machines to make them run faster later, but that's for a more advanced topic. But anyway, you want to macerate all your ores. It's kind of just like vanilla Minecraft. What you want to do is put a bunch of stuff in there and walk away and do something else for a while. But there we go. We got two coal dust. Now these coal dust, they're going to cook into um, two pieces of... Uh, copper. So if you take copper dust and cook it, by the way you see this electric furnace and then the even, iron It's furnace. even faster. There we go, we ended up with a piece of copper. Um, we can put iron in there and iron dust, we'll get a piece of iron. And there we go, we got a piece of iron. So build your iron for um, once again, build your iron furnace, then build the generator. The first machine you want to build is the macerator because it's going to double your resources. The next thing I like to build is the electric furnace because it's just so much quicker. A final thing I like to build is the extractor. Now it's good for a couple things. First of all, it's good for making rubber, but secondly, it's good for making coolant cells. We won't get into that. Basically, starting off, you're just going to make rubber with it. So this is the way this works. This extractor. Um, let me actually clear out a little inventory here. Kind of out of space. There we go. The extractor, here's the way it works. You put a piece of resin in there, and you're going to end up with piece, three pieces of rubber. So normally, like what we did while ago, is we cooked one piece of re we. If you cook one piece of sticky resin, cook it in the furnace, you'll end up with one piece of rubber. But if you extract it, you'll get three pieces of rubber and you need a ton of rubber in this game so um, next thing the extractor will do is you can put rubber wood in there so if you like chop down the entire tree you can put the logs in here and you'll end up with one piece of rubber 
if you cook rubber wood, you'll just end up with regular wood. Rubber wood turns into regular wood when you cook it. So basically, that's the gist of how to get started. It's a short video, and I can't explain everything. There's like over 2,000 recipes added to the game, but this is the basics of it: how to get started. You want to get you want to get the iron, the copper, the tin. Get you some redstone. Then you want to build your furnace, and then then all these machines right here. Um, the only thing I can recommend getting started is is read the wiki. I also have a bunch of other videos. Some of these I have a let's play series where I just show myself playing, actually playing the game. That's good to learn stuff. Um, I also have some other tutorial videos showing you how to do some other things. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you've missed something, you may have to watch the video twice, pause it, whatever, to, to pick up on it. But that's the gist of how to get started. You want these basic machines, and there you go. So as a grumpy gamer, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I come up with tutorial videos all the time, and I do Let's Play videos too. So we'll see you next time.